Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So let's start. What we are going to study in this tutorial is I am going to give you a brief introduction about MIPS architecture. Basically MIPS stands for Microcomputer Without Interlog Pipeline Stages. MIPS is an instruction set architecture. Many companies got inspired by the processor of MIPS and they used MIPS processor in their systems. For example, Silicon Graphics, Sony, and the video game consoles like PlayStation, PlayStation 2 has used MIPS processor in this system. So our motivation to study computer architecture is that all the students get familiar with the architecture and know how architecture works. So in this course, our design goals are we want to maximize the performance, we want to minimize the cost of the processor, and we want to reduce the time to design the processors. So now coming to policy of use convention for registers. These are some registers which are available in MIPS architecture. MIPS architecture provides 32 registers ranging from 0 to 31. We will discuss and refer to this table in our upcoming videos. Some points which we need to memorize is register 1 which is called as $80 register is reserved for assembler. Register 26 and 27 are reserved for the operating system. So in MIPS architecture, we know that we have only 32 registers and to perform operations, we actually know that we have to save our value in our registers to perform operation on registers. So for example, we have a program and we have declared an array of thousand size. Then we cannot save all the array in our registers because we have limited registers. So what actually happens is we save all the values of array in our memory and load only that value in registers on which we are currently working. So in this way we perform operations. Now this is an overview of our computer system that our computer system consists of three main parts. Number one is processor, number two is memory and number three is input output devices. So in IO devices what we have input and output devices here is our memory and the processor consists of two parts. Number one is control and number two is data path. So in MIPS we have three types of instructions. Number one is R type instruction. Number two is I type instruction and number three is J type instruction. And here we all need to know is all the instructions in MIPS are 32 bits wide. So we will be discussing all the three instructions R type, I type and J type instructions in detail in our next upcoming videos. So friends, if you understand the lecture, do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos. So I hope you understand the lecture. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any question, do comment and subscribe to our channel Teach Me Technically. Thanks for watching friends.